Newcastle. Addison, number six, is the only full-time professional, but seven of them have got Football League experience. Newcastle United make two changes from the first match. Moncur is back at number six, and at number seven, Viv Busby, who's loaned from Luton Town, expires this weekend. It's played wide for Brian Owen. This is Green. Hibbert. There's three in the middle for Newcastle. Busby. McDonald on the far post. Tudor in. And the foul has been given. McDonald's header and Tudor's challenge. But an unfair challenge by Tudor on Fred Potter. So the ball in the net for the first time, but it doesn't count. Jones oh that may well have been the best chance just arriving is Pat Howard the centre half Hibbert to sling the corner across McDonald oh good save by the goalkeeper that was a fine save by Potter Busby three in the penalty area McDonald coming in that's it Eight minutes from the end, Newcastle break the deadlock. Third. Now Tudor's gone down for Newcastle. Radford again. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Radford the scorer. Ronnie Radford. And the crowd. The crowd are invading the pitch. And now it will take some time to clear the field. What a tremendous shot by Radford. the end of 90 minutes at the end of 90 minutes Hereford United have clawed their way back into this cup tie and forced extra time away by Moncur Radford Tyler George George has done it! What a moment for Hereford! He must blow any second. It's all over! They've done it! Hereford have done it! Well, what a cut tie! What can you say? see Golly and Pratt go forward now they were working on these near post corners only this morning on a little pitch over at the back of the ground Stevens to take and Steve Sedgley out as far as Rogers with the header back in McKinnon is there and Hanlon and Abizovic saved it and Dennis so close for Sutton Matthew Hanlon wondering how it stayed out it's going to be a corner on the far side again, but great excitement here. And Golly, and Reigns, and a goal! And they have done it, and Tony Reigns, the left back, is the hero of Sutton, for the time being at least. Now this morning, on a bleak park pitch, just behind the ground, they were working on this corner, and how it's paid off. The man to flick it on is Golly. And Reigns, the number three, puts that header past the man on the line. Kill Klein and Sutton are in front. Well, the one thing Coventry won't want to do is concede another corner after what happened in the 42nd minute. This is Bennett. And now Sedgley. And Phillips has made a run from left back, and there's danger here for Sutton United. And Phillips 
has put Coventry City level. After 52 minutes, the Welsh international timing his run perfectly from deep. This was a splendid run by Phillips. Look at the way he bisects those two defenders. And he gets on the end of it on his right foot, which he favours, although he's playing left back today. Mickey Stevens takes the corners on both sides, so we could look for another good delivery from him. Here's Dawson. Oh, and driven in! And number 11, Matthew Hanlon, followed that in. And Sutton have done it again from a corner kick, bringing this little ground to life once more. And the Coventry defence was standing still. They've restored their lead, and Hanlon salutes the crowd. It was the decoy, really, from the corner. Coventry were expecting a direct cross. Dawson floats the ball in. It's flicked on, and Hanlon is the player who finishes it off. And it goes speedy, and here comes Regis. Surely! Oh! How did he miss that? I wouldn't think even he's sure. This is Smith. It's a teasing cross. Houchins up there. And Roffey onto the bar. And Sedgley now. Play on. And McGrath and Bennett get in each other's way. How did that stay out? Well, that was the great escape as far as Sutton were concerned. And Coventry with Barry Williams, <laughs> whose nerves must have been on edge. He even took the pipe out of his mouth there because this was the closest Coventry have been to making it 2-2. Houchins header, keeper struggling a bit against Speedy on the bar, essentially post and bar, would you believe? And then McGrath in Bennett's way. And there it is! Sutton United of the GM Vauxhall Conference have put out First Division Coventry City, winners of the FA Cup themselves less than two years ago. Side Thackeray did it go behind? Oh, and it missed the target. Jimmy Carter with the opportunity to make it a glorious start for Arsenal inside the first five minutes, and he's put it wide of the post. And it looked for a moment as though Merson had taken this just a touch too wide as he got round the defender Andy Thackeray, but he cut it back beautifully. And with the whole of the target to aim for, Carter missed. Oh, he's run outside Sartori. Now, surely, yes. Alan Smith saves Arsenal's blushes with one minute to go to half-time. You'd have to say it's a goal that Arsenal have threatened and which they certainly deserve for the number of chances they've created. And maybe if you want to be hypercritical, they ought to have had more. But again, it was good football by Merson. Smith at full stretch and Arsenal ahead by one there. He hit a good long ball, Conley's free on this side to Thackeray, fabulous save oh what a break that was what a chance, what a moment for Andy Thackeray foul against Gordon Davis and that has given Wrexham a free kick just on the edge of the penalty area with 8 minutes left now 11 is Phillips 5 there is the captain Mickey Thomas it's Thomas who takes it Thomas, he's done it, the magic little man at the venerable age of 37 has produced a sensational goal and that has lit the fires oh, could you imagine a free kick struck sweeter than that and at a more important time Seaman had no chance, it was right up into that top corner He hit it right through the gap. And Seaman did well. Six minutes left. Watkin. Oh, he scored! Steve Watkin has got a goal! And Arsenal face humiliation. Two goals from Wrexham in the space of two minutes. And suddenly, Arsenal's world is falling around their ears.
It was Adams who missed his clearance. Watkin reacted quickest, and from just outside the six-yard box, it's 2-1 Wrexham, and the biggest upset of the day is now on the cards. What a desperate finish for Arsenal. And if the early chances had gone in, how different it might have been. Dixon just hit long. And there's the whistle. Wrexham have achieved a really famous FA Cup victory. And it's a solemn face, George Graham, who comes out of the dugout. And if Arsenal go back to London wondering what happened here, well, for me, they didn't do enough in the second half. They allowed Wrexham to get a grip on the game and come back at them. Steve Watkin with the winning goal will make the headlines, but for me, the free kick from Mickey Thomas was really the moment that set this victory up. The Welsh dragon is evident everywhere. Liverpool have got three coming from the other side of the pitch. Barnes has moved inside, still Beardsley. Now it's Barnes. Houghton and Aldridge are waiting in the centre. Oh, well played by Alan Cork. He got to Aldridge just when that mattered. Thorne is also there, and that's Wise. This little fellow's been voted player of the year. And they say that he's had a hand in just about three quarters of the goals that Wimbledon have scored this season. This is Houghton. Barnes is waiting, but so... Oh, and Barnes is still there against the post. And away by Vinnie Jones. John Aldridge had the first opportunity from the cutback. As you'll see from this, there were two chances here for Liverpool to score, really. Beardsley, superb approach play. Then Houghton. But Wimbledon were just rocking there. And Jones cleared after Barnes' first effort appeared to have hit the post. Sanchez, Cork, Young and Fashionu in there. And Sanchez was in there. And that's a goal for Wimbledon. Laurie Sanchez. Well, what a typical Wimbledon goal. Dennis Wise delivers the free kick Laurie Sanchez sneaks in and glances it into the far corner just got the touch Sanchez might score here penalty good year on Aldridge Wimbledon protest at the decision good year thinks he played the ball and here we have high drama because Aldridge who I think might have been replaced a moment later is the penalty taker and never has a penalty been missed in the FA Cup final at Wembley. Well, that's what it was given for. More of that in a moment. Dave Besant in the week told me that he's been watching where Aldridge puts his kicks. Aldridge, in fact, was the player fouled himself by Goodge. It looked a bit harsh to me. Jimmy had in a moment on that. Besant thinks that, or thought the kick might go to his left or the right as we look if Aldridge decides to go the same way as in the semi-final. He did, and he saved it, and made history. The first time ever that a penalty kick has not been converted in the FA Cup final here. And Besson did guess right, his homework paid off, and Wimbledon is still in. Oh, the tension here. He's checked with both linesmen. Oh, and there it is. The crazy gang have beaten the culture club. Wimbledon have destroyed Liverpool's dreams of the double and all over the pitch their players are celebrating something which a few years ago would have been impossible sporting gesture by the Liverpool supporters Her Royal Highness applauds one of the great cup shocks of all time